Yo, what is up guys, I'm Dan. I'm back here with another craft brew review and let's crack into it, boys and girls. Uh-oh, it's the boss. The boss is back, guys. All right, let's, let's lower it down. Let's take it down a notch, guys. <clears throat> let's get serious. It's Boss Tweed, guys. It's Boss Tweed from Old Nation. <clears throat> Do we need to say anything else? M43 from Old Nation. I'm on record as saying is the godfather of hazy beers in Michigan, and they kind of catapulted uh, the the hazy train that has become everywhere. I mean, I know Michigan's huge for craft beer, but it seems like everybody is chasing these guys, just caught in this race of the haze craze. You, you got guys like uh, Holmes now opening up. I think they're Ann Arbor. Um, you have Ellison, you have Big Lake Brewing, you have Oddside, and then you have Arvon now. All these guys are trying to chase this. They're trying to chase it. In my experience, they're not able to duplicate it 100%. I, I've seen them come very close. There's a couple Arvon beers I think come very close to trying to duplicate something like a Boss Tweed where they hop the hell out of it and it's the dirtiest hazy beer you'll ever see in your life um, but it's still awesome there I, I love the haze craze guys I, I, a lot of people do I love juice bombs I love haze I love citrus and I love hops that are that are well balanced together and put in great combination with one another now I did do a beer review on boss tweed months ago and it was about that you know drinking this kind of stuff though it kind of does hurt my stomach it is so many hops but i enjoy it still and the point is these guys are still doing it so something is working and it's working really well this is really hard to get guys i have to bend over backwards to try to get my rep to get this for me i mean she does her best to get me whatever i want but it's such a highly allocated item that even yesterday at the trade show, they did not sample Boss Tweed. All they had was M43 and a small tap of Electron Brown. They can't even supply enough for the demand. It's just not possible right now. Until they get a bigger production facility in Detroit, it's just not going to happen. So, let's stop. Let's take a step back. Let's crack this bad boy open let's 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 see because you know what i had one last week and it was the greatest double ipa haze craze i've ever had guys i don't know if it's just because of the freshness i don't know if they altered something ever so slightly it always was awesome but this was canned on 9 18 18 which puts it at about two weeks or 15 days old um and that's pretty darn fresh guys you're not going to get it too much more fresh i did get one that was 10 days fresh at the time and it blew me away but let's see what we got today the crazy thing with the boss tweed is when i open it just from right here citrus tropical fruit notes just slamming you in the face slamming you with in crazy incredible hot presence let's go for a pour that dirty oj just that dirty dirty oj guys it's such a deep dark dirty not light oj but dark oj i mean look at this thing and we'll just let it sit in there for a little bit. I mean, look at this, guys. It's Boss Tweed in all its glory. It's all in its glory. So, got about a finger head, that dirty, dirty, dark orange uh, color that comes with it. And just a nice looking foamy head, really. I mean, it's just it's just beauty. I mean, it's if, if you're looking for a staple of haze beer, this is it, guys. Boss Tweed, in my opinion, much better than M43. M43 just doesn't do it for me. M43 is great. I love it. But when we're nitpicking greatness at this point, uh, the little points do matter. And this one is much better than M43 in my opinion, guys. It's just, it's deeper. It's richer. It's got that crazy citrus tropical fruit notes that are just so, so overly abundant, but so crushable at the same time. It's just 
what they achieved is incredible. Again, hops out of this world. Wheat, oat, Vienna to go with it to that oat, really a ton of oats probably, so to cut that bitterness out of it. Uh, Boil hops, Magnum, Simcoe, Citra, Mosaic, Dry Hop, Simcoe, Citra, Mosaic, Azaka. It goes on and on, guys. To the nose we go. It's just incredible. It's just incredible the amount of citrus in here, the amount of pineapple, um, mangoes, peaches, apricots. It's all in here. You get every single note you could ever think of. Go, go into any produce department. I work in one. You're going to get all of those tropical notes right in here, all in a glass. That's that's what it is, guys. And it, It's just, it's, it's incredible. So instead of keep keeping running my mouth here let's go for a drink cheers guys cheers old nation cheers to boss tweed i don't know what it is maybe maybe i just don't remember because it was months ago but <clears throat> this time around the juiciness that's in here is so ridiculous it is so juicy one of the juiciest hazy beers i've ever had in my life it is a tad bit sweet for me because I do love um, when a beer's crushable, but I, I don't love when there's like a big sweetness in it. And this one does have that, but I mean, look what's in it, guys. I mean, this is going to be sweet. This is what all their intention is, and people love it. It's one of the most highly rated beers on Untapped. It's a 4.43 um, double New England style IPA. This is what you're looking for. It's one of the standards. I heard it's comparable to Treehouse Brewing, the godfathers of haze beer in general over there on the east coast maybe a couple others chillium but yeah this is what we're looking for we want haze beer guys new england styles let's go for a little back end here see i just got a <laughs> i just got a ton of uh sediment that just came out of there which oh you know they tell you it's not bad just roll your can but i just pour it in all its glory so again guys such a juicy beer the tropical fruit notes are out of this world the citrus is out of this world and then the bitterness is just cut out of it and the 9.3 percent alcohol is somehow magically hidden now if you let this warm up a little bit yes you will get that uh, alcoholic burn a little bit ever so slightly but guys it's 9.3 percent name me a beer that can provide 9.3% alcohol that's an IPA or double IPA that doesn't give you a little substance of burn in your chest or your throat after it warms up. This is almost going into, you know, the 10% range. I mean, it's unbelievable how these guys have been able to hide it. And, and after tasting their Electron Brown yesterday, they're good at hiding alcohol in general because their electron brown was 8.1 percent and i got almost no trace of alcohol in it almost nothing these guys are just good at hiding any alcohol on their beer and they put a lot of alcohol in their beer after fermenting so um it, it just seems like it is maybe just a tad bit better this time it might be because i'm having it a little bit more fresh um the hops are incredible in here this beer does slightly upset my stomach when I drink, or I drink one or two of them, which you shouldn't have to drink more than one or two of these. But that's the price you pay if you want to have a, a blow your hair back, hazy, um, hard to get beer. That's what it's going to do for someone like me. You know, that's just what it's going to do. So, guys, I highly recommend you get your hands on this. If you still have not tried this and if you've had M43, this, in my opinion, will blow your socks off compared to M43. And that's already nearly a world-class beer, in my opinion. And all the other reviewers out there and untapped beer advocate, they, they put them nearly in world-class themselves. So I'm not just lying through my teeth here. I'm telling you the truth. To, to re-review <clears throat> re this beer, I'm going to have to go 4.70 out of 5, guys. Probably one of the highest rated beers you'll ever see me do. I, I don't actually really believe in giving uh, beers a perfect score because you never know what's going to come out next. You never know what the new standard's going to be and you never know what kind of brewer's going to come along and just 
you know, blow your mind and, and, and top whatever you've ever had because sometimes someone is going to come along and just raise the bar one notch higher. So I leave that little wiggle room just to see if anybody's ever going to, you know, give me a five. Not that I'm the best beer reviewer out there, but I do give myself that little room just so I can slightly raise the bar a little bit more as the years go on. So for me, in my opinion, this is nearly flawless for me. A little too much hops um, and a little too much sweetness for me personally, but it is one of the best New England style double IPAs I have ever had in my life. I highly recommend you guys get your hands on it if you can. Good luck. She's pricey and hard to find and hard to get. Um, this is Dan, guys. It's getting windy. I'm going to enjoy the heck out of this boss tweed. Uh, cheers, Old Nation, and cheers to all you guys. If you watch this, I am truly appreciating you. And if you subscribe to my channel, I appreciate you even more. Uh, no matter what, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will, of course, see you on the next one. Craft Brew Dude, over and out.